Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Raji Gaines, and you're tuned in to Harvest Time Apostolic Ministries. We're located at 764 West 107th Street in Los Angeles. Our Sunday morning services believe begins at 11.30. There is a Tuesday noonday prayer and Bible study and our midweek service Thursday evening at 7.30 is our midweek Bible study. You are welcome to any and all of our services. If you have not repented of your sins, if you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins, if you have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost with the infilling of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, if you're not certain where you'll spend eternity should you not wake up on tomorrow, give me a call. Let us reason together in the word. Let me show you that salvation is right through the word of God. Give me a call. Bishop Roger Gaines at phone number is 323-449-9857. If you're sitting at home watching this on Facebook or YouTube and you do not have a way to get to service, give me a call. We'll send the man out for you. We'll pick you up and drop you off again. That phone number is 323-449-9857. We know and believe you would say it was good for me to have been here. Somebody give God a praise. We're excited about the move of God and where God has been taking us. We thank God for his safe traveling mercies and bringing us back, amen, to the city of Los Angeles, amen. It's good to be uh, back out of the cold of Michigan, amen. They yes. got it, it started to snow, and they told me once I got out of there, it got worse. So thank God he held it back till I got out of there, amen. Amen, but we praise God for that and for all the fellowship that we have with the presiding bishop of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, the Honorable Charles Ellis and all the different other uh, bishops and pastors that we fellowship with, amen, on our journey, amen. If you open your Bibles to Psalms, the 139th Division, Hallelujah. We're going to skip down to and read the last two verses of that particular division of Psalms. Amen. Uh, 23 and 24. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Amen. If you need more time, say wait on me. Amen. We're all, we're all there today. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. The word of God reads, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and, and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. And hallelujah. Turning over to uh, the book of Ephesians. Oh God, Ephesians, Ephesians, hallelujah, 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 the, the fifth chapter and the 26th verse we will read there and it reads that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the correct application of his word. Father God in heaven, we thank you for this time, oh God, that we come before you, God, humbly submitting ourselves unto you, God. God, we ask that you will come in this place and fill it with your presence, God. Oh God, hide me behind my flesh, behind the cross, oh God. Let no one see anything but the bloody mess, uh, which is the blood of Jesus Christ that hides my sins, that covers me with your blood. God, forgive me for any unclean thoughts, anything that I may have done or said amen, that was contrary to your will. God, forgive us for all our sins and transgressions, for we want nothing to stand between us and your anointing. Now, Satan, we serve you. Notice you must leave 
of this place, but not only this place, but God, out of the houses and the lives of those who are watching this via Facebook and YouTube. We declare and decree, amen, that their lives will never be the same again. As for me, your manservant, I ask only clarity of thought, precision concerning speech, and that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, will be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my firm and impenetrable rock, and my redeemer. And all that love God, say amen. Amen. Give God one more hand of praise. Come on, I still give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. We promise you we won't be before you long. Hallelujah. But we're coming down to, amen, the end of the year. Hallelujah. And as, as done, amen, in so many uh, 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 companies about this time of the year, they do an analysis of where, where, what they have done throughout the year, the goals that they set at the beginning of the year, and they find out whether they met their goals or not. They find out where their, their shortcomings were, where they, they, they lacked, what areas they lacked in, and what they didn't do to obtain that, what they had hoped to accomplish when the year began. Uh, and even if they obtained their goal, amen, what they could have done even better that would have furthered the process of their company. Uh, we are here at the end of the year, and it's time, amen, to take a self-evaluation uh, of where you are at this particular point in time of the year. When you look back on January of 2011, and as so many people do, and they make these uh, New Year's resolutions to what they're going to cut out this year, and what they're going to do, and how I'm going to serve God, and what I'm going to do for God in this year. Year, only amen, to fall short or, or to lack the accomplishments that you had hoped to obtain. Amen. Uh, so we take this time, amen, to look back over the year and to reflect on what we could have done differently. Uh, oh God, and to look at the mistakes uh, and the shortcomings that we have made, not to give the devil any praise or glory. But, amen, to yet praise God that even in our faults and our shortcomings that he did not cut us off and that his mercy and his grace was sufficient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not looking at it, y'all, uh, 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 that we have failed, amen. But, amen, we're looking so that we can improve on the next year. So, amen, I can say, shortcomings of 2011 will not be my shortcomings of 2012. Uh, and the promise is that I keep keep to the Lord in 2011. If the Lord be my help going into 2012, uh, I'm going to fight the good fight of faith. Uh, hallelujah. I'm going to dedicate my life uh, and my service unto God. A time of reflection so that I can go into a pity party. Yes. Come on. Amen. Because what the devil tries to do uh, uh, is to uh, 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 let you reflect on your faults and your failures and to have you uh, uh, go into a pity party, have you to call yourself a failure to the point where you just want to throw in the towel. You say, what's the use? I keep faulting. I keep failing God. And I I, I know I want to do right, but somehow I find myself uh, doing the things that I said I wouldn't do. Uh, but the Bible says that the good man falleth seven times in a day. Uh, I'm not saying that to give one latitude.